Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. Bienvenidos. Today I am doing a hair tutorial, which I haven't really done in a while, but I did get some new clip-in hair extensions from Bellamy. This is the first time I've ever spent this much money on some extensions. I did get the Bellamy uh, Bugatti clip-in extensions are the thickest clip-in extensions that they carry. I did recently trim my hair and I kind of have more of a blunt cut but as you can tell these extensions blend in almost perfectly with my natural hair. This side I kind of struggle with a bit more but I kind of still make it work and honestly these are probably the best clip-in hair extensions that I've tried yet. These did come in 22 inches I believe and I trimmed them down to about 20 because they were really really long and I gave them a little bit more of a blunt cut at the end as well but um, overall the quality is really good I'm gonna talk about the extension throughout this video but I mainly want to show you how I've been getting these really full beachy waves even though my natural hair is a little bit more on the short to medium side but before we even get started if you are not subscribed to my channel yet and you enjoy beauty fashion lifestyle videos why not subscribe it's free and it's easy all you have to do is hit the subscribe button that is down below and that's it now let's get started let's do something about this hair so you can see here my hair from the bottom is pretty blunt but I do still have layers throughout my hair it's just the bottom but I find it a little bit harder to blend with my extensions the extensions that I'm using for today's video are the Bellamy Bugatti set the color that I got matches almost perfectly I first sectioned my hair on the top tip of my ears. That's where I put the first little track of extension. And down here I like to put the one that only has two clips because it is a little bit of a shorter area. So it fits there a lot better. Then I section my hair again, just a little tiny bit higher. And then here is where I like to apply a track that has three clips. Once I get that down, then I'm already towards the middle of my head, and that's where I put the thickest track. The Bugatti set from Bellamy comes with this really, really thick track. It has five clips on the top and it has four on the bottom. I don't really only clip the top ones. I don't feel the need to clip the bottom ones, but the option is there in case you want you know, that extra support. But this track is like 10 slim tracks all in this just one huge one. So this really helps to add a lot more volume. You can see when I applied that thicker track, it like almost instantly blended my natural hair with the extensions. You can't even really see where my natural hair is unless I point it out. Now we're back to the thinner tracks. So I use one with four and I put that one kind of like mid forehead. That's where I like to do my last partido. <laughs> That's where I like to section my hair last. And this is the last set that I put. And all these four tracks are already enough for the amount of hair that I have and for the volume that I want. I still have three tracks left over even after applying this. So if you want even more volume, you can always add the other three. For me, it's just a lot, especially because it's hot right now. But I like the look that this has. It matches with my hair and then the blunt cut that I did to the extension. So then from there, I go ahead and start curling. I've done tutorials where I use this curling iron and I'm curling my hair. It's pretty much the same concept, except here I focus the barrel more towards the tip of where my natural hair is. That way it blends with the extensions and so that it curls with it. That's really the only difference or the only different thing that I'm doing for my curls here. But other than that, it, everything else is the same concept. Now that the curls are in, we gotta lock them in place. I first put a little bit of hairspray around, kinda like my baby hairs and my bangs to keep all the little flyaways in place.
to add some texture to my hair, I like to put some of my IGK texture spray. I've tried quite a few texture sprays and I feel like this is one of the only ones that really actually gives me more volume and texture. And I apply that mainly to my roots, just a little bit on the middle of my hair. Texture is in, we have a little bit more volume and then I like to set that all in place using some hairspray again, using the same one, but I'm applying it all over my hair this time. Here we have the after, some nice loose beachy waves and then we have this kind of bland, boring side. But now we can move on to doing the exact same thing just on the other side. And that is how I've been styling my hair recently with my new extensions. I think one side came out better than the other, but we're just gonna kinda dismiss that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you have any questions about the extensions, just uh, ask me down in the comments. And then I'll also put some information in the description box for you guys to check out. I love you guys, thank you for watching once again, and I will see you all in my next video.